Dominic Toretto. You are hereby sentenced to serve 25 years to life at the Lompoc Maximum Security Prison System without the possibility of early parole. Fast and Furious 5 marks the beginning of a new phase in the film series, serving as a comprehensive integration of the previous installments. The plot continues from the ending of the fourth part. Let's delve into the detailed storyline for this season. Due to Brian and Mia intercepting the prison vehicle, Dom, Brian, and Mia have all become wanted fugitives by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Brian and Mia arrive in Rio. Just as they're about to ascend the stairs, they're stopped by a group of punks with submachine guns. Just as they turn to leave, Vince appears. Vince now has a wife and child. and his wife notices that Mia is pregnant. But Mia wasn't ready to tell Brian yet. Vince and Brian are talking. He told Brian they had a big deal, just hijack some luxury cars off a train. But they're short-handed, and they'll divot a lot of money after the job. Brian is somewhat hesitant, but eventually agrees. Early the next morning, as Vince was about to set off, he heard the familiar roar of a car. When the operation officially started, Brian and Mia's task was to find the compartment where these cars were stored. Their tacit cooperation makes things run smoothly. Hey, we found them. Yeah, second to the last Raider. But when checking the vehicle data, Brian found that these luxury cars are actually impounded cars. Meanwhile, the team responsible for assisting them arrived at the location of the carriages in a modified vehicle. Unexpectedly, Dom appears among the team. The two siblings can't help but embrace when they see each other. Vince got on the car first and landed smoothly through the iron slide. At this time, Reyes' subordinate says he wants the GT40 car, Dom feels something is off. So Dom stopped him and told him, ladies first. Before Mia left, Dom told her there was a change of plans. When they see Nia driving in the opposite direction, they instantly start fighting. The undercover agents on the train notice someone hijacking the train and rush to the compartment. At this time, Reyes men asked his men to chase Mia. Brian immediately jumped into the modified car after hearing it. The driver grips a welding gun, so Brian can't let his guard down. Just when the two were fighting fiercely, the modified car crashed into the train, and the driver also passed out. At this time, oil began to leak from one side of the modified car, and Brian was hung outside the car. Seeing this, Dom instantly jumps into a car, ready to rush out for a rescue. Just then three agents run over, Reyes' subordinate shoots them from behind. Dom reacts quickly, drives out of the train compartment to save Brian. In the nick of time, Brian seizes the opportunity to jump onto Dom's car. At this moment, the modified car hit the bridge and exploded into flames. At this critical moment of life and death, Dom stepped on the accelerator without hesitation and rushed forward.
At this time, a group of people arrives and captures them. This group of people was sent by Reyes, and then the two were tied up. Reyes states that no matter where Mia is hiding, he'll find her. After that, Reyes subordinate signals to kill the two of them, and then leaves with Reyes in a car. Just as Reyes subordinates are about to move, Brian and Dom break free from the ropes. Upon finding Mia, they find out they're now the FBI's most wanted fugitives. At this point, the federal police station assigns a new officer, Hobbs. Agent Hobbs takes his work very seriously, asking to assign Elena Nevis as his translator. A patrol officer. You heard me. But why? We have many more experienced people. I like her smile. What's the second thing? Stay the fuck out of my way. When Dom and Brian get home, Mia is ready to tell Brian she's pregnant. Just then, Vince walks in, and Dom asks him where he's been. Vince tells him that Rhea's men came to the Glades to ask about them, so he couldn't show up in time. Just as the two were about to clash, they were stopped by Dom. While everyone was resting, Vince went to the car computer to take out a chip, but didn't expect Dom to show up suddenly. My sister, no! I didn't know! I wouldn't do anything to her! You set up the deal! Their quarrel alerted Mia and Brian. Hobbs was looking for clues in an abandoned carriage, and at the same time, Elena came to report to him. While the two were talking, a police officer approached Hobbs and told him the whereabouts of the two missing cars. But after driving to the asphalt road, it disappeared, and Elena thought they could go to the slums to look for clues. So, early next morning, they arrived in the slum. At the same time, Brian was reading the information on the chip. It only had transaction records and no specific business details. At this time Hobbs and his team arrived downstairs, and a group of gangsters tried to stop them. But they moved out of the way as soon as Hobbs drew his gun. Just when Brian and the others discovered something, the sound outside the door caught their attention. When they broke in, Brian and the others had already escaped. At this point, Hobbs heard a gunshot, immediately instructing his team to take action. Dom and Brian split and run. Dom leaps upstairs with Hobbs in pursuit. Similarly, Brian and Mia are also running wild. Hobbs is not only capturing Dom but also gang members. Elena spotted Dom and hurried after him. Passing through a narrow alley, he is grabbed by Elena. Just as the punks were preparing to shoot, Dom pushed Elena into the corner, saving her. Rhea's men are about to attack when they are simply wiped out by Hobbs' squad. At the same time, Brian and Mia are constantly evading their pursuit. Seeing the punks coming after him, Brian decides to take Mia and jump off. When Dom disappeared, Elena came to her senses, leaving only his most important necklace. Brian, Mia, and Dom finally escaped through the sewer. Dom suggested a two-way plan, which Brian agreed with. However, at this time Mia told them that she was pregnant. She said she had already lost a loved one once and did not want to experience this pain again. Hearing this news, Dom also smiled and the three of them embraced tightly. Late at night, Brian felt like they couldn't keep hiding like this. So Dom took out the chip, deciding to make a big move. Use this chip to snatch Rhea's money away. However, Brian stated that they can't go at it alone anymore, they needed to form a team. So all the brothers came back, Han, Roman, Tej, Leo and Santos, and Giselle. After everyone arrived at the warehouse, Brian told everyone the plan. Roman felt it was a private grudge, unwilling to participate. But when Roman hears that there will be $100 million at the end of the mission, he changes his decision. Dom told everyone that if successful, each person could get $11 million. But there is a problem now, Reyes has distributed his money in many places, it's unrealistic to rob one by one, so Dom came up with a brilliant idea. Dom buys off one of the other side's men and takes them to one of the caches. They assembled everyone there, Dom took off his hood. He then poured gasoline on the money, telling them to go back and tell their boss who did this. However, this was just the beginning, things were not over. When Reyes learned that Dom had robbed his warehouse, he asked how much money they had stolen. The punk said they didn't take a cent, but they burned all the money. This news enraged Reyes, he immediately picked up the decorations on the table, smashed it at the punk, and ordered his men to lock up all the money within an hour. 
The subordinates pack the money in backpacks. But what they don't realize is that every place where the money is hidden is heavily guarded by Dom's men, and Dom knows their every move. Tej observed through a telescope that all the money was being sent to the police station. Something everyone found increasingly difficult. Yet, Dom thought it might not necessarily be a bad thing. At the same time, Hobbs was also using facial recognition to get all their information. Then, Reyes came to the police station safe and opened it to see all the money still there, finally at ease. Meanwhile, Dom and his crew were figuring out how to enter the police station. Their gaze finally fell on Roman, feeling he's a great fit. Roman came to the police station disguised as a police officer. He claimed that he wanted to put the evidence into the evidence room, but the police officer refused to let him in. So he had to put the evidence box at the door, and then the police officer took the box in. When Roman gets back in the car, Tej goes into action. He takes control of the remote-controlled car in the evidence box and locates the safe. They discovered through the camera that the safe is made of thickened steel pipe and can only be opened with a high-temperature welding gun. Moreover, the password lock is triple-locked and featured fingerprint functionality. Leo and Santos arrived at the police station's underground tunnel, placing a timed bomb in the sewer pipe. A minute later, they detonated the bomb. Dressed as maintenance workers, Leo and Santos entered the police station swiftly. After finding the exploded bathroom, they detected the surveillance line through a detector. They then dug a large hole in the wall and inserted the receiver into the line. At this point, Mia also received the police station's surveillance footage. They noticed the surveillance moved every 10 seconds, moving so rapidly they didn't have enough time, and they weren't able to break into the system. Hence, they needed a car that was fast and a person with excellent driving skills. Dom then assigned specific tasks to everyone. At night, Dom and Brian arrived in Yorgenero, their goal was to win a fast enough car. Brian spotted a Porsche GT32S, his eyes immediately lit up. This was the god car he'd been dreaming of. Then, Dom will make a bet with the car owner, and the bet is the car. There was no suspense, they eventually won the car. In order to complete the designated route within 10 seconds, Brian needs to showcase his driving skills. He thought he successfully ducked the camera, but he was still caught, it appears he needed a faster car. Next up is Giselle, her driving skills are incredible. At this time, Han's eyes were full of love for Giselle. Later, they unboxed a huge delivery package, inside was a safe exactly like the one at the police station. Dom gives this task to Han, and Giselle goes along for the ride. They came to the beach and looked at Reyes in the distance, wondering how to get close to him. Giselle took off her scarf and walked towards Reyes. A purple bikini instantly caught everyone's attention, and Han was completely intoxicated by Giselle's beauty. Giselle successfully received the fingerprint. When they handed Giselle's bikini to Tej, he was very puzzled. So Han told him that Reyes' fingerprints were on the swimming trunks. At this point, Mia tells the group that Hobbs has put out a bolo on them. Dom had another idea. At night, Hobbs' team members informed them that they had found Dom's car, and Hobbs immediately led the team to the scene. Finding them all here, Hobbs tells them to surrender. But seeing his lost cross necklace hanging around Elena's neck, Dom walked up to Hobbs. Hobbs tries to make a move. The mistake is thinking you've got a goddamn choice, boy. Your mistake? Thinking you're in America. You're a long way from home. This is Brazil! But is reminded by his teammates to calm down, so he leaves. At this point they don't realize that Tej has put a GPS under their car. When Elena got home and was preparing to rest, Dom suddenly appeared in her house. Elena goes for the gun, but Dom overpowers her and takes the necklace back from her neck. Elena was very surprised at that moment. She didn't understand why Dom would risk so much for this necklace. Dom didn't explain, but Elena believed that the people on the train weren't killed by Dom. You didn't kill those men in the train, did you? Now why would you believe anything I would tell you? Hey! Was she so special to you? I never thought anyone could understand how much. But you do.
At this time, Han was demonstrating his drifting skills. But he was still unsuccessful. He said it would only be possible with an invisible car. At this time Dom had a new idea. They went to the side of the police station, and Giselle warmly reminded Han to be careful. One by one they flipped up onto the roof of the car and jumped over the police station fence. And they were rewarded with four speedy police cars. I got a hundred thousand says I can take you all in the next quarter mile. Yeah, you broke ass has got a hundred grand. We pull off this job, I will. Next two lights, hundred thousand. <laughs> we don't pull this job off, we're probably dead anyway. Let's make it a million. I like that. All right, million dollar quarter mile. All right then. When the green light came on, Roman butted out ahead of the others, with the trio following close behind. The road surface was very wet after the rain, but Dom's driving skills were unparalleled. His exceptional driving skills left everyone in awe. They drive fast through the city in a police car, but in the end Brian wins. When they got back to the warehouse, Brian was surprised to find that Dom had deliberately let him win. The next day, when Mia went to the market to buy groceries, Vince suddenly appeared. It turned out that Rhea's men were trailing Mia, and Vince had to take her away to protect her. After returning to the warehouse, Brian saw Vince and rushed over. But after Mia's explanation, his anger simmered down a bit. When Vince went to Dom to express his thoughts, Dom pierced his intentions with a single comment. While they were grilling, Dom had everyone toast to tomorrow's action. Early the next morning, Mia discovers via GPS that Hobbs is on the other side of town, so Dom quickly organizes the brothers and gets moving. Just then, Hobbs suddenly appeared. As soon as they met, it was a fierce fight. When Dom saw his car being hit, he angrily attacked Hobbs. Just made a big mistake. Just then he saw Mia being surrounded, and Dom became even more angry. Dom picks up the hammer on the floor and Mia calls out to him just in time for Dom to stop. They were then escorted to the airport by Hobbs. On the way, they were ambushed by Rhea's men. Hobbs and his colleagues suffered heavy casualties. Just as Hobbs and his men were about to get killed, Dom, Brian, and Vince came to their aid just in time. They successfully helped Hobbs break out and then escaped with him from the scene. On the way back to the warehouse, they found out that Vince had suffered a serious abdominal injury. Vince knew he wouldn't survive, so he entrusted his son to Dom. When they got back to the warehouse, Dom was furious and wanted to avenge Vince, but everyone felt it wasn't the best time. That's when Hobbs expressed his willingness to join in their retaliation. His joining gave everyone confidence, and they all found the courage to prepare for the revenge for Vince. Hobbs drove an all-bulletproof vehicle into the police station and made it to the basement, flooring the accelerator and crashing in. The wall was smashed with a huge hole, yet the car was intact. Then Dom and Brian arrived, 
and they used a winch to tie the steel lock to the safe. After some effort, the safe was pulled out. Their cars pulled the safe through the streets. They used the safe to block the pursuing police officers and damaged public utilities to create obstacles. That ain't gonna work. Spike! Did you just take out a bank? The number of police chasing them grew, and they swung the safe from side to side so that the police cars could not get close to them. Han and Roman also rushed over to help clear the obstacles. Y'all clear on the left. We clear on the right. When they reached the bridge, Reyes henchmen also caught up. Mia suggested they abandon the safe, but Dom insisted on keeping it. Thinking about Brian's impending fatherhood, Dom decided it was too risky and chose to hold off the pursuers alone. Dom turned on the nitrogen and rushed to Reyes' car. Using his driving skills, he turned the safe into a weapon, ramming into police cars and even splitting cars in half. While facing Reyes' henchman's full firepower, he drifted and pulled up the safe using its inertia to defeat them. At the critical moment, when Rhea's men were about to shoot Dom, Brian appeared in time and killed the opponent. When Hobbs arrived at the scene, he shot Reyes with a gun without saying anything. Then he walked up to Dom and told him to give him 24 hours to leave the city. Hobbs stated that he would still perform the task after that time, and then he asked Dom to leave the safe behind. After Dom and Brian left, Hobbs opened the safe, but it was empty. It turns out when they were driving under the bridge, they had switched the money-filled safe with an empty one in a garbage truck. Their clever strategy amused Hobbs, so each of them got their wish and split the $110 million amongst themselves. And Dom didn't forget about Vince's family. Han and Giselle finally came together. Brian and Mia chose to live a stable life by the sea, enjoy freedom, and look forward to the birth of their baby. One day, the roar of cars sounded in their home. It turned out that Dom brought Elena to visit them. So Brian decided to have another racing competition with Dom. You know, I want another shot. Yeah? Yeah. 
No wagers, nobody else, just you and me once and for all. Huh. You sure you can handle the disappointment? For you? All right, O'Connor. Let's see what you got. 